happen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to our witnesses for being here. You know, it's been well documented by this committee that the Trump administration has not implemented seven mandatory sanctions of the Russia sanctions law that was passed overwhelmingly by Congress last year. Of course, it doesn't mean that the administration is doing nothing. In January of 2017, the Trump administration sanctioned, since January of 2017, the Trump administration has sanctioned 217 Russia-related individuals and entities and blocked hundreds of millions of dollars in Russian assets in the United States. And that's well and good, but there is a disconnect between the punitive actions taken against Russia by Treasury and the State Department and the behavior of President Trump himself. President Trump, who said it is an incredible offer to let Putin's thugs interrogate our former diplomats. So, Ms. Rosenberg, the former sanctions policy coordinator at the State Department, Dan Freed, told this committee last week that, quote, sanctions will have more power if they are embedded in an overall policy that works, is credible, and is consistently expressed. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. Good. So what impact do mixed messages from President Trump have on the effectiveness of our sanctions? Well, they undermine credibility of U.S. policy posture, which isn't a, a one-time problem. That goes on until the United States wins it back. Um, my colleague was just saying that is uh, hard to gather and easy to lose. Yeah, yeah. It's actually very well put on that. And it sounds like President Trump and the people he has appointed to be in his administration are not on the same page when it comes to enforcing all our Russia sanctions and making sure that those sanctions are part of a comprehensive policy to push back on Russian aggression. And President Trump's mixed signals send the message to Putin that he will not face maximum punishment for trying to interfere in our democracy. That's not good for our security. It's not good for the security of our allies. Sanctions usually follow an effort to try to follow the money. And the Russians close to Putin want to make it harder for the United States to follow the money. In the Russia sanctions law that was passed last year, Congress required Treasury to provide a report on the net worth and the income sources of senior Russians who are close to Putin. Instead of doing that, the Treasury Department copied and pasted the billionaires list that had already been published in Forbes. Now, Ms. Rosenberg, in January, you recommended in an article uh, that you published that the Trump administration, quote, should provide additional public information about the oligarchs and officials named in the list and publicly describe which oligarchs and officials have engaged in acts of corruption and or supported Putin's malign activities. Presumably, much of this information is contained in the classified portions of the reports and can be declassified following appropriate review. So let me ask you, does the Treasury Department need additional authority from Congress to appropriately declassify and publicize this information? Uh, no, they have uh, independent authority to declassify intelligence as appropriate. So without disclosing intelligence sources and methods, do you think it would be helpful to the United States and our allies if the Treasury Department published an unclassified report on the assets of Putin and his closest associates and the companies that they use to hide those assets and publish that on, say, a public website? Well, with the appropriate caveats that you mentioned to not reveal sources and methods, in general, I would say transparency is our friend. And transparency is the friend to the Russian people who have a right to know how their state assets are being spent by their own government. Well, thank you. I hope that the Trump administration follows your advice and publishes this information. If we want to squeeze Putin and his cronies, we need to follow the money and expose the assets so that these corrupt individuals have fewer ways to hide their assets and keep themselves rich at everyone else's expense. Thank you.